Hey guys, welcome to Celebrity Chat Fest, where we talk celebrity and entertainment news. Let's get into today's topic. Amanda Seals is chucking the deuces at the reel. Amanda announced via Instagram Live that she is leaving the daytime talk show after being hired as a permanent host earlier this year. Have a listen. So, well, you know what I what happened to me today? Mm. Yes. I am. She has arrived. I've arrived because my my contract is up at the real and I did not renew it because it doesn't feel good to my soul to be at a place where I cannot speak to my people the way they need to be spoken to and where the people who are speaking to me in disparaging ways are not being handled. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a space where I can, as a full black woman, have my voice and my coworkers also have their voices and where the people at the top are not respecting the necessity for black voices to be at the top too. So, yeah. you know, you reach a point, like even when it just comes to Hollywood in general, you've seen me transform into a way that I just can't function in this place the same way. I can't. Sources told Deadline that Amanda was offered a new contract, but she turned it down. Now, Amanda also reassured fans and viewers that there is no beef between the ladies and herself. It's all good, it's all love, and please don't start that conversation considering what's going on around the nation as we speak. Do not try to create some false dissension between me and the co-hosts of The Real. Y'all so fucking corny. There is a whole pandemic and an uprising going on and you still can't find shit else to do but try and create some conflict that doesn't exist. I did not unfollow unfollow Lonnie Love. I haven't unfollowed anybody. Shout out to Jeannie. Shout out to Tams. Shout out to Lonnie Lance. And shout out to Adrian. What y'all don't understand is grown, men, grown, grown women do grown women business. That's what y'all don't understand. And what I do with my business ain't got nothing to do with them sisters. Y'all need to have a good day and get your minds focused on what we need to do to make this a good world. Lonnie confirmed that, reposting Amanda's video on her onto her own Instagram account, in which she captioned, you make me laugh, you make me think, you make me a better woman. Now, for those of you who are saddened that Amanda will no longer be on your TV screens, don't worry. Because as we all know, Amanda plays Tiffany on HBO's Insecure. Also, she is the creator and host of the live music and game show, Smart, Funny, and Black, and she also hosts a weekly podcast called Small Doses. Amanda is busy, 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 and blessed. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so let me give my point of view on this. Am I surprised that Amanda is leaving the real? No, I'm not surprised. Not at all. Now, when Amanda was first hired, I thought, excellent choice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I thought, she was, I thought she'd be a great fit for the show, right? To me, in my opinion, she brought credence to the show. Amanda is knowledgeable on an array of topics and she makes great talking points. Like she's a great conversationalist. She's very opinionated and outspoken and I appreciate that about her. However, the aforementioned is exactly why I am not surprised she's leaving, right? When you work for a major network such as Fox, like, yo, you cannot be as opinionated. You cannot be as outspoken. You got to kowtow to not upset advertisers and viewers, right? There's a lot of bureaucracy. There's a lot of politically correctness. And that's not Amanda. And re remember, Amanda worked for Fox, right? So this is the total polar opposite of what Amanda stands for, right? Amanda is like, she skews towards the left, Fox target audience swings towards the conservative side. And that's not Amanda. Amanda, like, can you imagine now having to talk about George Floyd on the real and not upset advertisers on Fox? Like that's very stifling and that's not who Amanda is. So I definitely can see why she would depart from the show. Okay, so that does it, but I wanna hear from you. Did you enjoy Amanda on The Real? Who should be Amanda's replacement? Or should they just leave it with the four ladies? Drop down in the comments and let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe, plus tap the notification bell, like, and share this video. Until the next one, bye.